<laughs> Jessica, thanks. Meanwhile, the United Nations estimates about a thousand homes destroyed in the 11 day conflict between Israel and Hamas. It says hundreds of additional housing units. They were damaged so badly that they are likely uninhabitable. And joining us now to talk more about the conflict is former state Senate President Mike Hiradopoulos. Mike, good morning. Hope it's a good weekend for you. It was, Ryan. Good morning. So, Mike, no matter which side you're on with the Israel conflict, it, it's hard to underestimate the damage, the loss of human life, the property. I mean, this this was a lot of damage to people's lives in 11 days. It really was. It was an intense 11 days on both sides. As you know, this conflict was started when the Palestinians or Hamas launched over 4,000 rockets into Israel. Of course, Israel, with a very strong military force, retaliated in kind, and it was the dramatic damage over the last 11 days. I think everyone's thankful there's a ceasefire, but there's a lot of tension still in the region. Yeah, that's a great point, Mike, and we'll see if that holds because sometimes they don't hold for very long. Let's talk about what we've talked about a lot, inflation concerns. We can't have a newscast without uh, two or three things that we talk about going up, and we've seen this across the board for a variety of reasons. That's gonna, if it hasn't already, it's going to affect the average American. Well, absolutely. This is the ultimate hidden tax. When prices go up, even if you get that pay increase, you're paying more for product. You have less buying power. We all learned in school supply and demand laws. Right now, there's a supply of too much money uh, out there. And, and the reality is when you, you demand certain products, there's just not enough of them. And so the supply and demand laws are saying with just a lot of money out there, very few products, those products go up in cost. And, and most dramatically, you've seen it in housing. When you want to buy lumber, when you want to buy concrete, those prices are up dramatically. Just to give you an example, the cost of lumber has gone up almost 500 percent in the last six months or so. In addition to that, we're talking about the morning. The price of coffee has gone from 96 cents to about a buck and a half, an over 50 percent increase. These are real realities. And probably the biggest one we're all feeling, of course, right now is at the gas pump. You've seen that the prices have gone from about $1.77 a gallon to over $3 a gallon. And that hits the working class the hardest because they're the ones relying on their car to get to work. Yeah, Mike, and we saw Congress dialed back a little bit. I mean, maybe, obviously, the spending is an issue. Will we see that dial back? Because that's part of where that money has flooded from this year. Well, you think they would, uh, but there's still a lot of pressure on this so-called infrastructure deal. That would be $1.7 trillion. Now, they've actually reduced that number from $2 trillion, but $1.7 trillion is a lot of money, and a lot of people are still saying, look, let's spend money on infrastructure, no doubt, but let's focus in on roads and bridges, not all these external matters as well, which would, again, flood the market with money. Again, sounds good, but that means the products that you want to buy will go up because there's just not enough supply of those uh, products at this point. It's a real problem. And, and then you know, one other everyday item we're talking about is corn and wheat. Again, the staples of our, of our uh, diet, those are up dramatically over the last year as well. And so you're seeing these prices rise. And right now, the expectation is that inflation, which was under 1.5%, is now over 4% a year. We just don't want to see the Jimmy Carter days of high inflation, let alone, of course, interest rates, which would likely follow. Yeah, you throw on top of that the Florida housing market. It's great if you're selling your house. Price is going up so much if you're buying a house, not so much. Mike, got to leave it there. Always great insight. We'll talk to you a little bit later this morning. We look forward to seeing you at 830. Thanks, Ryan. Sounds good, Mike. That is former State Senate President Mike Herodopoulos joining as he does every Monday here on Good Day Orlando. Well,